So due to popular demand, I've decided to create a playlist. In this playlist, I'm going to show you how Magnet Media animates and creates his video using After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and all other Adobe related products, but mostly using After Effects and then Premiere Pro. So I will be making these videos in two parts with each part focusing on a particular topic or area on our reference video. So the reference video is going to be the Magnets Media video that he made titled How a Kid with Zero Dollar Created Nike. So these videos will cover areas like title animation, compositing, color manipulation, scene building, camera animation, video editing, and lot more. Even though in his videos, it looks like he is using some of external plugin to create those things, but we are going to try to create all of that in Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro using no plugin or at least free plugin that can equally help you achieve some of that. So in this part of the video, we're going to cover title animation. If you take a look at the reference video, you will see that at 20th second, he did an amazing title animation, which also serve as a transition. So now let's get into it. So in Adobe After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. Then we're going to name this title. So we're going to make it 1920 by 1080 of resolution. So we're going to leave the frame rate 24. Then we're going to make the entire duration six seconds, even though the transition is far, far shorter than six seconds. Then we hit OK. Usually, best practice demand that you find your transition audio or title animation audio, bring it in. Then it is easier to animate to match the audio than to do it the other way around. So we're going to be using the same audio or sound that he used in that video so navigate to where you have it then drag and drop it into the project manager window so by the way if you want to follow up with this tutorial i will be leaving a link in the description linking you to the project files across all the parts of this video and in each video the project files will be updated so keep your eyes on that and keep updating the downloads so now drag and drop it into your timeline so this is gonna sound like this you see this is only about three seconds long so what I'm going to do now is to put my time indicator around this place, then hit N on the keyboard so that I can set my preview limit that way I don't have to play the audio all over again. So I'm also going to cut out this little part here. So I move it forward in time. So the next thing I'm going to do now is right click on my timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. So I'm going to name this BG then make come size and then hit ok so usually i don't like setting my color while creating the solid layer i like using the fill effect that way i have control over changing the colors later along the line so i'm going to search for the fill effect add it and then click here and change the color to white like he has it then you hit OK. The title animation has a logo. So the next thing now is to bring in the logo into the project. So navigate to where you have the project file, then select the logo, drag and drop it into the timeline. That is going to prompt you to import this. So I'm going to set this to footage for the time being and then hit OK. So one thing I want us to be able to do is to reuse this animation over and over again. So to do that, we're going to set up this so that we can be able to continue using it for different purposes. So I'm going to select the logo, then hit S on the keyboard to scale it down a bit. Then I'm going to control Shift C to pre-compose it. That way I have total control over it. I will name it logo holder. Then make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK. So I'm going to also add the fill effect. That way I can control my colors. So I'm going to set this to a very light gray like he did and then hit OK. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add my text. I'll go to new and then create a new text. So I'm going to name this animated title. 
So I'm going to duplicate this text layer, Ctrl D on the keyboard to do that. Then I will just move it slightly above. Then I'm going to name this chapter one. This font is currently Carlito regular. So I'm going to select the animated title and change that to Beba Kai or Beba's New Way. They are all the same thing. You can search Google for the download. I'm going to reduce the tracking to zero. Then I'm going to increase the font. I will use the rectangle tool right here. Make sure no layer is selected. We're going to create a rectangle shape like this. Then move it below the text chapter one. So we're going to set the color here. I can also use fill color that way I have control over what I can change it to easily. So I'll just arrange the text and make sure everything is on the center. So change the color for the chapter text to white. So right click on your timeline, go to new and create a new camera. We're going to leave this to 35 mm. You can choose 50 mm. That doesn't really matter. Hit OK. Yes, you receive a warning like this that you need to make all layers 3D. The camera only acts on 3D layers. So do not worry. Just hit OK. So right click on your timeline, go to new and then create a new null object so we're going to name this camera control make the camera a child of the null object so we're going to select everything on the timeline except the camera and make them 3d if you don't have your 3d icon right here you can toggle the timeline then you can see the 3d checkbox right here check all of them and make all 3d layer so we're going to switch this active view to double view that is two views so make sure one of the views is from the top view if you don't have that you can click here to change it to top view so now what we're going to do is select the bg and move it way way back move it all the way back like this also select the logo composition and move it all the way back as well. Select the BG, hit S to scale that up. So before we start animating, we're going to use the sound as our timing. So we're going to expand the audio option and make sure we are seeing the waveform. So if you look at the waveform right here, at this point is where the logo reveals. So right here, that is when the entire title came on screen. So we're going to select the camera controller, hit P on the keyboard to reveal the position property and set a keyframe there. So you're going to go back to zero and then select with the camera controller still selected. We're going to select it and move it toward the camera until we have the logo on our screen like this so select all this right click go to keyframe assistance and then easy ease you can also hit f9 to achieve this so select this then switch to graph editor and edit your speed graph like this so if you preview now this is what you have beautiful so now we do not need the dual view again we're going to switch this to single view then fit this to screen beautiful so the next thing we're going to do now is to animate this chapter one so we're going to create an animation for it hit uu to reveal the properties then here we're going to go to animate and add the tracking property so on the tracking amount we're going to move forward to where this has started coming here somewhere here and set keyframe for the tracking amount so we're going to come somewhere right here and increase the tracking amount to something like this so now we need to move the keyframe away to this place so we're going to select the keyframe hit f9 on your keyboard to ease ease so we're going to move this last keyframe for the tracking away a bit.
I will still move it a bit forward in time to somewhere close to the end of the animation because I want the tracking to gradually slowly come together. So I think this is okay. You can also move this to your preference. So I will select the logo hit T on the keyboard and set an opacity keyframe right from this point. Then move your time indicator right to this place and set the opacity to zero. That way we have a clean plate. So if you want, you can also animate the scale, but that is not necessary. If you look at the timing, the timing is not correct at all because the text appears before that sound. So what we're going to do is to offset this keyframe for the camera control. So we're going to select this last keyframe and move it to two seconds forward in time. So let's preview now and see if that timing is okay. Perfect. So now everything is ready. So we're going to add all those other elements on the animation those elements will depend on the brand or topic you are talking about for this animation so he uses the nike shoe but i'm gonna use the money tools so now if you navigate to where you have your project file you should see this so drag and drop this into the project manager window and set it to footage then you hit ok so before that i'm gonna create a new composition Go to new, control N to pop up this. Then I'm going to set this to 500 by 500 on the resolution. So I'll leave every other setting to be the same. And then I will hit OK. So that is going to give me this. Then I'll drag and drop this into the composition right here. So I will just hit scale so that I'll be able to see all elements and icon and asset on this one. So what I'm going to do is to use my rectangle tool and isolate the one I want to use. So I will isolate this graph. I will align it to center. Then I will scale this back up. I will move it right here to the left or to the right. So I'm going to bring in one more asset. That is the handwritten text. So I will drag and drop this. Like I said, you can find all these assets on the project file if you download. So I will drag and drop it into the project manager window. So I will hit S to scale this down. Feel free to use whichever one you want to use. So I will just use the rectangle tool and max any part of it out like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to select the ellipse tool right here and double click on it. That is going to create me a new cycle. So I'm going to add an effect called turbulence displacement or turbulence displace to this. So I will increase the amount. Then I'll set the complexity to the maximum. That is about 10. Alt click on the evolution and add this expression time asterisk 100. So I'll move to about this point, about two seconds forward in time, or just about one and a half second. Then I'll select the shape layer and hit S to reveal the scale property. Set the keyframe at that point, go to zero and set the scale value to zero. So I'm going to select these two layers. Then I want to use this sphere, that is this cycle to mask out the revelation of these elements right here fortunately in adobe after effect 2014 you can use a single layer to mask as many layers as possible so i'm gonna pick with this track mat to the shape layer that is gonna help me do that so i will select this my keyframe hit f9 on the keyboard to easy ease so if you preview now, this is what you're going to have. It is going to reveal that. So I'll just move it a bit to two seconds. I don't want it to happen too fast. Beautiful. So I'll go back to my main composition, which is the title composition. Switch this to project manager. Then I'll drag and drop this composition right on top of my timeline. We don't need to make this 3D layer, of course. So I'm going to move it right on top somewhere here. 
so but i'm not going to stop at this i'm going to add the four ways color so that I can give some kind of feels to this so once you add that you can change the color to match whatever you may want to see so i will leave it at this so if you preview now you have to go to this point where the entire thing finish revealing then offset it on your timeline so that it can start revealing from here you see that beautiful that is what i want to see so i'm going to repeat this process to create other four elements to paste up down left to right to make it four so using the same steps i have repeated this and then moved this graph down so this is what i currently have so at this point everything starts revealing so if we preview this now you will see So this is what we currently have. Make sure you activate the motion blur for the layers. If you select it, you toggle the timeline, you will see here and activate for all the layers. Then make sure it's also activated for the composition. Then I trim my comp to about this point because in the, his animation, the text just suddenly disappears. So I trim this. So there is one more thing we need to do right here to call this a day. So we're gonna right click on the timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. You can also duplicate the BG below to make this fast. I'll also make sure it is on top of the layer hierarchy right above the camera and everything. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool and double click on it and set it to subtract. So I'm going to hit F on the keyboard to reveal the feather. I'm going to crank up the feather. So now we have this vignette across the animation. So, and this is what we have as our final animation. And this brings us to the end of the first chapter or first part of this video titled animation like magnets media. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you never miss on the next tutorial because this playlist is going to be packed and it's going to be very diverse and knowledge based. That way you can up your game as a content creator or as a freelancer who can handle this job for other creators. So if you find this video interesting i will urge you to play the next one on the card because it is going to dip deeper into magnets media style so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios